Hello book lovers I am Vanapalli Harshiki you are seeing farm d notes Today our topic is classification of joints A joint is the site at which any two or more bones articulate or come together Joints allow flexibility and movement of the skeleton and allow attachment between bones Now there are three types of joints they are fibrous joints cartilaginous joints and synovial joints coming to the fibrous joints these are the joints which does not promote any movement due to presence of tough fibrous material between them examples are joints between skull bones that is sutures healthy tooth is cemented into the periodontal ligament here we can see the images of them now coming to the cartilaginous joints these are formed by a pad of tough fibrocartilage that acts as shock absorber the joint may be immovable as in the cartilaginous epiphyseal plates which in the growing child links the diaphysis of a long bone to the epiphysis some cartilaginous joints permit limited movement as between the vertebrae which are separated by the intervertebral discs now coming to the synovial joints these are characterized by the presence of a space or capsule between the articulating bones the ends of bones are held together by a sleeve of fibrous tissue and lubricated with a small amount of fluid synovial joints are most movable joints in the body synovial joints are further classified into six types they are ball and socket joint hinge joint gliding joint pivot joint condyloid joint and saddle joint coming to the ball and socket joint the head of one bone is ball shaped and articulates with a cup shaped socket of another the joint allows for a wide range of movement including flexion extension adduction abduction rotation and circumduction examples include the shoulder and hip bones now coming to the hinge joint the articulating ends of the bones fit together like a hinge on a door and movement is therefore restricted to flexion and extension now coming to the gliding joint the articular surfaces are flat and very slightly curved and glide over one another but the amount of movement possible is very restricted this group of joints is the least movable of all the synovial joints coming to the pivot joints these joints allow a bone or a limb to rotate one bone fits into a hoop shaped ligament that holds it closely to another bone and allows it to rotate in the ring thus formed now coming to the condyloid joints a condyloid is a smooth rounded projection on a bone and in a condyloid joint it sits within a cup shaped depression on the another bone examples include the joint between the condylar process of the mandible and the temporal bone now coming to the saddle joint the articulating bones fit together like a man sitting on a saddle the most important saddle joint is at the base of the thumb between the trapezium of the wrist and the first metacarpal bone the range of movement is similar to that a condyloid joint but with additional flexibility a position of the thumb the ability to touch each of the fingertips on the same hand is due to the nature of the thumb joint if you like the video please subscribe and thank you for watching